All right, and welcome back guys. So Outbreak just came out and with that, they made pretty much everything have a tier four and a tier five. Some of those things being actually insane. We have enough crystals to go ahead and upgrade one thing to tier five. And you know, one of the things I was most interested about that I think could be really freaking strong. I know a lot of people have covered perks already. We will be covering those in the next coming days. But uh, to me, one of the most exciting things to be covered is the ammo mod. So the first thing we're gonna go ahead and the very first thing we are going to get tier five out of everything is gonna be brain rot and we're gonna test out exactly how well this performs in this video. So if we go ahead and read it, you guys already know what brain rot does. Turned enemies explode on death, dealing toxic damage, uh, increased turn duration to 20 seconds, Turned enemy damage is doubled. Pretty good stuff. But now, special enemies can be turned. So now, manglers, like mimics, all that stuff. And on top of that, on turned enemy death, the turned enemy explosion turns three nearby enemies. So when it dies and explodes, you now get three other turned enemies. And I'm very interested to see exactly how that works. So with that, let's go ahead and buy it. There's four refined Ethereum crystals, which is a lot of these tier five. On explosion, three additional staggered explosions occur. Oh, wait, wait, it's the wrong thing. That's Shatter Blast. On turned enemy death, the turned enemy explosion turns three enemies. Let's go try this out. See how this is. See if we wasted our money on this and if we should have bought a perk instead. All right, but real quick, why we're kind of getting set up and getting the alternate ammo type on this weapon. If you guys want to sub, that'd be amazing. Like I said, we got tons of more guides showing what tier four and five upgrades do on pretty much everything else in this game as we unlock them. And we're currently on our goal to 40K subs. So if you could be part of that and join us for that, that'd be greatly appreciated. And on top of that, if you're looking for amazing shirts to wear while grinding zombies or grinding whatever else you're grinding, we got those linked in the description below but with that let's go ahead get this gun upgraded get it packed and uh, see what this ammo type does now that it is tier 5 all right boys but now we have got the points let's go ahead get the portal we'll go ahead pack the weapon and we'll put brain rot on here and see how well brain rot fares while uh, doing this so let's go ahead hopefully it's pretty good man I'm really really hoping look at that like tier 5 that nice V on it it's funny that the first thing I chose to upgrade is an ammo type. You know, we could have got some OP perks, could have got our weapon stronger, could have done a ton of things, yet um, I was most curious about Brain Rot, which probably isn't the single best thing to upgrade first, but uh, I thought it was the most interesting. The, just the, the sounds of this sound insane, and I think it's going to be really helpful in Outbreak, and even for, like, high-rounding strats. So let's, uh, let's find some zombies and figure out what it does. Oh, let's see if we can turn one of these, dude. Can we turn... Oh, we can turn a Tempest?! No way, where'd it go? Dude, I'm so glad that's the first thing we turn. That is insane. So yeah, you can even turn the Tempest. No way. Oh, dude, we gotta let this charge up again. So Tempest, yeah, those can be turned. Pretty awesome. I guess let's, dude, we got a, dude, a Mangler, Mimics. Let's try to turn some of those too. I really didn't expect for it to work for the Tempest. I was just thinking like Manglers and Mimics, but um, nope, Tempest, fair game as well. So, um, I, I doubt you can do the actual, like, boss boss zombies, but definitely Tempest and whatnot work. Unfortunately, it wasn't near any zombies, so we didn't get to see the explosion effect, but, uh, let's find some more zombies, more bosses, and test this out a little bit more. So now we're at the objective. I want to maybe try a normal zombie to see if we can get this explosion. Uh, oh, so this, this is great. This is a defend round. This is, I think, where this is going to be the most helpful when you're defending. Because we can just make it turn zombie. Let's just try, let's get a horde up, and let's just turn one zombie and see the explosion effect. So, oh, come on. The explosion probably can't turn other zombies, but I want to see the explosion. Nope, didn't turn the mimic. Crap. Now we got to wait to be able to, oh, wait, no, it got back up. Was that the explosion that turned this, or did they fall down? I don't even know, but th dude, that turns zombies putting in work, bro. This is going to be great for outbreak defend round. Just having like, it just even just slows them down, especially when it explodes into three more potentially, or you get a mangler or a mimic. Like, I don't even have to do anything. It's defending it for me right now. Dude, come on. You got this. There you go. All right. So there's that one. And how quick does it recharge? Let's see. So we just activated it. Let's see when we can get another turn. Can we get another turn now? Now? No. So yeah, a little bit of a cooldown. I want to see kind of the difference between time of when you can activate one and when the next activation is going to... All right, so there we go. Already activated one again. So I mean, if you're playing normally on higher rounds defending, 
you're gonna get a decent amount of turn zombies it looks like the explosion isn't gonna help us until there's a lot more zombies there's not really enough zombies for you know the explosion to take massive effect uh, i'd like to turn this mimic but uh unfortunately i don't think we're gonna be able to activate it again quite this soon so we're gonna have to wait a little bit so yeah let's go a little bit longer and uh i'll be back with you guys when we're able to turn a mimic there we go we just activated it again on something else the one bad part about this is obviously with turn zombies you kind of want to activate it when you shoot a mimic or when you shoot something big now that you can turn mimics and stuff like you really want to be able to wait for that but you really don't have a choice of when it gets activated so i mean i'm just sitting here defending killing zombies obviously i can't just wait i can't just not shoot i guess what you could do is i could you know use my secondary weapon like this would be a really good strat to have kind of a secondary weapon with turn as i could probably see the best use case scenario for this so you get two weapons Ooh, crap one that scared the crap out of me turn to the left and just exploding dog uh, but probably the best case scenario i can think for this is you got your main weapon with you know the ammo mod that deals a lot of damage to zombies right we got to kind of figure that out maybe it's blast furnace now maybe it's the explosion one we really don't know what the best like main type ammo mod is but having a secondary weapon with turned i think is going to be a really good strat so you rock your main tier and then we're going to just wait we're going to use this main tier weapon pretend like this is a packed weapon with you know either blast furnace on dead wire i haven't really done testing so i don't know what you know the best ammo type to run is currently but the secondary ammo type you're going to want turn and the gun doesn't even have to be packed you just have you know a secondary weapon unpacked with turn on and you just wait you wait for a mimic you wait for whatever and when a mimic comes out or when a mangler comes out that's when you switch you switch you shoot it once you turn it and now you're back to your main weapon dealing damage having your um turned mimic now your friendly mimic just wreaking havoc all right boys but now we're on fire basically i've got enough to go ahead and upgrade the weapon here i want to see how it works on traditional zombie maps instead of you know just kind of outbreak i think it's going to be amazing in outbreak but i think it's going to be really great on this mode too uh and as i was saying i think it's going to be best used as a secondary uh weapon because one you can get a wonder weapon right let's say you're doing a high round strat and you're using a wonder weapon right you can now have a secondary weapon just chilling as your secondary that can turn a mimic or an elite into a turned zombie so it's gonna be a little bit easier to get the manglers and the uh, mimics here and i really want to see what they do to a horde so we're just gonna kind of wait up it's round eight we might have to you know go through a couple rounds real quick uh just to kind of see what it's gonna do on higher rounds. so yeah i'll be back with you guys uh in a few more rounds when we got a horde of zombies and a mimic we can turn to see what it does on the zombies all right, let's see if we can turn this mimic. As you guys can see, my M16 change is because I switched classes and it gave me the katana, so I had to rebuy the M16 and re-get deadwire on it. But I really want to turn this. I really want to turn this mimic, and then we're gonna try the other zombie afterwards. Did I get the mimic? Dude, please tell me. Oh, look at that! That is nigh, dude. That is so sick. That thing's just killing zombies, and hopefully it explodes and turns three more turn zombies. Let's get a little bit closer to it. Help them out holy crap and whoa that's actually kind of insane it exploded and as you can see it did exactly what it said it was it turned more zombies around it that explosion killed a lot of zombies too well got another horde no mangler in here let's just see what one zombie can do to a horde let's see if we can just keep around it while we're waiting for a mangler we're gonna go check out and see what an elite does after we you know get a mangler but uh, i really want to turn a mangler before we go to elite he's not doing too much why is he He's really kind of being slow. Definitely want to turn the elite zombies. The normal zombies kind of... Oh, there we go. There's the explosion. Dude, just took out that entire horde with the explosion. And now the other turn zombies. That's so powerful, man. Look at that. It just kept killing. That was one zombie we shot at the start of the round that caused all of those kills there. So it's really something that... It's not like other ammo mods that are really going to save your butt right off the bat. But uh, shooting one zombie is definitely going to have a chain reaction that kills a lot of zombies in the long run. Come on, I just want to turn this mangler into a turn zombie. Come on, come on, come on. It doesn't matter if I hit him critically or not. It should be able to turn him regardless. I don't want to kill him, though. This is the first mangler we've had in a while, man. I want to see what the elite and the mangler look like. Turned. There we go. There's a, There we go. Come on. It puts him back to full health, too. Come on, I want to see him blast zombies with the blaster. Come on, dude. Is he just going to punch them? That's no fun. Dude, you got a, you got a cannon on your hand, bro. Use the cannon. Eh, all right. Well, 
The explosion at least turned one zombie. Yeah, little. I was hoping the, the mangler would be a little bit cooler than that, but still way better than turning a normal zombie for freaking sure, bro. Whoa, I just got grappled by a turned mimic. Oh, wow, that's hilarious. If you turn the mimic as it's grappling you, you can get crap. You can get grappled by a friendly mimic that okay that's cool I'll, I'll take it i'll take it it still did damage to me it just got damaged by a, a friendly mimic all right and welcome back guys i'm actually recording this clip uh after everything you just saw i did about 45 minutes testing on d machine and none of the elite kills were counting i actually lost all of the audio from that so i've just got a little bit of clip in the background uh but essentially I don't think you can turn the elite zombies. I tried three different elite zombies. I tried for long periods of time. I went from shooting uh, the elite a bunch of times, then immediately shooting one single zombie, immediately turn the other zombie. And then I did it again. I, I repeated that process about two or three times. And every single time I was unable to turn the elite. Whereas when playing the other modes, I was really able to almost immediately successfully turn other things or training it around a little bit, just shooting it. But uh, three different megatons i shot all of them continuously shooting all of the megatons and not a single time did any one of them become a turn zombie so i don't know if um megatons are technically considered elite whereas everything else are considered special zombies because i read through exactly what it does it says it turns special zombies not elite so uh I, I think the megatons might just not be able to be turned it's either a glitch it's intentional uh, or something like that, but uh, as far as my knowledge, I did a lot of testing. I really, really tried to uh, turn a Megaton, and I could not do it. I tried it on the big form, I tried it on the small form, uh, the, or the split form, whatever you want to call it, and it was not able to turn it at all. So I really do not think at this point in time it's possible to turn one, and it might never be. I was really hoping for it. I was most excited about that, because just the fact having a Megaton on your side uh, fighting with you, Obviously, I know you can do it with the Easter egg, but this was a little bit different. Being able to do one on any round just by shooting it with uh, Brain Rot would have been kind of cool. Couldn't get it to work. So let me know if you guys have different effects with it. Like I said, I, I, I tried as much as I could. It just was not taking it <laughs> at all. But uh, yeah, go ahead and let me know how you guys feel about this. Are you going to buy uh, Brain Rot? Is it going to be the first thing you buy or is it going to be a close second for you guys but yeah gonna go ahead and end this here go ahead and tell me what ammo mod or what perk or whatever you want me to cover next because like i said we're gonna have a ton of these coming out i'm testing all this stuff for you guys yeah see you guys later peace